Welcome to Rejoicing Heart Ministries. We hope everyone is having a great day. This is Robin Donna Litwin here to encourage you with the Word of God. Today we have a teaching about faith and how you can use it to see mountains moved in your life. Our reading is from the Gospel according to Mark, chapter 5, verses 25 through 29. And a certain woman, which had an issue of blood twelve years, and had suffered many things of many physicians, and had spent all that she had, and was nothing bettered, but rather grew worse. When she had heard of Jesus, she came in the press behind and touched his garment. For she said, If I may touch by his clothes, I shall be whole. And straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. Today's teaching is called, It's Not You, It's Jesus. This reading starts out talking about a woman who had an issue of blood for 12 years, and was seen by many doctors and used an abundant sum of money to be healed and only saw her problem grow worse. This is a pretty clear message that no matter how much money you have, it cannot guarantee you good health or healing. The only place you can truly find the good health and healing that you desire is from Jesus. This woman with the blood problem heard of Jesus and realized this truth inside herself, that if she could even just get to Jesus, and touch his garment or clothing, she knew in her heart that she would be healed, or as she believed, she would be whole. This woman forced her way through the crowd surrounding Jesus, and touched his garment, and was healed instantly, as it says in our reading. And straightway, the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. When this woman touched Jesus, he realized what happened, and looked to find her. She told him what she did, and he replied to her in Mark chapter 5, verse 34. And he said unto her, Daughter, thy faith has made thee whole. Go in peace, and be whole of thy plague. This was a miraculous faith healing through a woman's faith in what Jesus can do. What needs to be understood in this instance is that this woman did not have faith in what she was doing by touching Jesus' garment. She had all her faith in what Jesus could do for her just by her touching his garment. We are told in Romans chapter 12, verse 3, God has dealt to every man the measure of faith. This measure of faith is through the Holy Spirit in you when you receive Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. You can read about this faith and the fruit of the Spirit in Galatians chapter 5, verse 22, and also in the gifts of the Spirit in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. Knowing that we have the full measure of faith Jesus has through the Holy Spirit, Add to that another thing Jesus told us about faith in the gospel according to Matthew chapter 17 verse 20. If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Jesus said that you only need faith as small as a mustard seed, which is the smallest of seeds, to see the same wonderful things Jesus did happen for you in your life. If what the Apostle Matthew wrote isn't enough to believe it, the Apostle Luke wrote it in his Gospel, Luke chapter 17, verse 6. And the Lord said, If ye had faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye might say unto this sycamine tree, Be thou plucked up by the root, and be thou planted in the sea, and it should obey you. These two examples show without a doubt what Jesus told us in the Gospel according to Mark chapter 10, verse 27. With God, all things are possible. Now, with all this information about faith and how to understand it, we can take it to an extreme where we think it is what we are doing and not what Jesus did or does for us. I took this to a point in my life, along with my wife, where we thought it was how we thought and how our faith functioned in life that caused the results we desired to see in our life. What we realized is that we took it so far to a level of faith that we even created a faith wall in our house meditated day and night on the scriptures given to us in the word for faith, and believed it was something we were doing. By doing this, we ended up seeing the wonderful power that was growing in our life somewhat dissipate a bit before we realized why. The reason this happened to us was because we were starting to believe that we, ourselves, were the reason it was working for us. 
We thought our faith, everything we did, and how we did it was why it worked, but we realized very quickly it wasn't us, through the word of God in Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 11, verse 6. And if by grace, then it is no more of works, otherwise grace is no more grace. But if it be of works, then it is no more grace, otherwise work is no more work. We have learned and now know that we have to receive this gift of grace, which starts for everyone, with receiving your salvation through Jesus, as written in Paul's letter to the Ephesians, chapter 2, verse 8. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. This gift of God is Jesus, and we are told to come to the throne and receive it, in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. After God showed us that we were trying to do it ourselves, we renewed our minds and started putting our faith in Jesus and what he has done for us, not what we were doing to make it happen. Jesus wants to and is able to do so much more than you can even realize, and it was stated by Paul in Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20. Now, unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us. Jesus is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that you ask or think, but it goes on to say, according to the power that works in us. This power that is in us is directly related to our faith in Jesus. And we know from Romans chapter 10 verse 17, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Your faith will grow by how much you grow in your knowledge in the word of God the Holy Bible. Start right now. Stop believing that you are doing everything yourself. Put all your faith into Jesus today and do what he told you to do in Mark chapter 11, verse 22. Have faith in God. Amen. Father, thank you for blessing us with the full measure of faith. Help us to always put our trust in Jesus and not trust in ourselves. In Jesus' holy name, amen. Thank you for listening to Rejoicing Heart today. If this teaching has blessed you, please consider becoming a monthly partner to help us increase the ways we are proclaiming the Word of God. This is easy to do. Just visit our website at rejoicingheart.net. We thank you for your support. We leave you with more encouragement from the Apostle Paul from Philippians chapter 4, verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice.